Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Margarita here for those who don't know me and for those who do, welcome back my loves. As you know, this is the second video installment of when I'm probably in hospital, probably having a baby. I'm like nine months pregnant right now. If you could see me below the waist, you would be shooketh. You would be shocked. I'm pretty impressed that I haven't gained much weight on my face or like wrists and stuff. Um, I know a lot of people have a lot of water retention. So I'm feeling very, very lucky when it comes to that. But um, I wanted to jump on here to do a tag that I was tagged in by um, a few other luxury influencers a while ago. But I slept on the tag and now I'm fully woke and I'm ready to tell you what bags I would buy for a hundred no, I wish it was a hundred thousand for ten thousand US dollars. If everybody took my bags, took them all away, stole them from my life, which bags would I buy for ten thousand US dollars? And as you know, I'm an Hermes lover, but I've excluded Hermes from this category because the prices just don't do it, do they? And also, I didn't want to include Hermes because, look, um, I want this video to be approachable and purchasable for people who have a 10k budget let's just say you wanted to do that let's just say you were like i'm gonna save 10k and buy my bags i want to be able to do that as you know a birkin or a kelly waiting list takes your whole lifetime um if you want me to make a video on how to get a birkin or a kelly i can i think i already made one earlier in my life but since then i've bought more and i have more experience so let me know but without further ado, let's get into which bags I would buy if my whole collection was gone and I could only buy $10,000 worth. Some of you might be surprised, but it's just what I'm feeling. I kind of just do what I feel. I don't overthink it, so don't overthink it with me. The number one bag that I would need, I would absolutely need, is something classic, something timeless, something with a flap. Um, uh, I know the price increase has happened recently and it's vexing a lot of people, but one of the first staple bags I would buy is, um, I have one already, so I'd replace it probably for a black one in, in, um, grain leather so that it doesn't tarnish with gold hardware and it would be the classic Chanel flap and those retail for 6,500 at the moment, my ladies and a few gentlemen that watch this channel, um, They've had a 12% price increase. Uh, people have opinions about that. I don't know, let them do what they wanna do. Things change in life. Yes, it's annoying. Yes, we wish it didn't. But that is the price of Chanel. Uh, hilarious because it's very close to Hermes now. Uh, let's see how they fare doing that. Um, my cat is playing with a vacuum cleaner. Is that normal? Anyway, so it'd be black, grainy, medium, Chanel gold hardware this can be worn every day they've got a long strap they're really hard wearing i find them really classic i love a black turtleneck i love a black suit i love that kind of sophisticated kind of tuxedo wearing bad b vibe and i think that would really work and i also think it would work with just like a a track suit and a long trench and really nice white nike sneakers if you're being really down to earth but it's classic and you know what i really love when things happen when, when this happens to classics like if you get a black kelly or a black chanel flap and then it's kind of slightly worn oh i love it like it's heritage it's just like it ages with you i don't believe in perfection i kind of like to just use my things so i think as it wears over time it would just look more and more chic the other option i had would have been a small chanel flap uh wallet on chain but i didn't choose that one because i wanted something bigger um you guys are on a camera about this big i'd want to put you guys in there if i was choosing to vlog so it's something that you could just wear every day and the medium size is definitely very good good for travel as your bag everything wonderful the next bag and this might surprise you is a wild card the next bag would be a mini saddle bag by dior there is something so nostalgic about this bag. I don't actually own one, but I would probably get one in a light dove Chanel classic gray with probably gold hardware again. And they sell those straps that you can put on later. I love that saddle. It just reminds me of the past. It's such a strange shape. I love the equestrian vibe to it. I would definitely get this bag in like a light gray. I think it's just so surprising and gorgeous and it retails for 2,700. 
and is definitely one of the bags that is on my wish list. It's not a favorite of everybody's, but I am the type of person that if it goes out of fashion, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I have very little fluffs to give. The fluffs I have are very, very minimal. So um, I'm not trying to catch up with trends. I really just look at what I like and that's what I like. And so I would go with my medium Chanel flap and I would go for an interesting color um, shaped bag just because I'd love it for a night out or if I'm going out with, with a beautiful white dress and we're having some kind of lunch on the you know seascape here in Australia. Not that anyone can go outside anymore, but you know what I mean, I think. Or like a baby blue or some kind of color. Do you know what I mean? Do that pop of color, but I'm normally pro probably a black kind of like gray so at this point we're already looking at like nine thousand two hundred dollars so what i had to find is my other quintessential and that is either a nighttime party bag or a little tiny bag that i can drag around everywhere with me so first i looked at okay you guys are gonna have to excuse me a hundred dollars i would borrow a hundred dollars from my husband or from you know one of you guys <laughs> so um i would probably get i would probably go into jimmy choo and i would probably get one of their belt bags this Vereen belt bag is super cool. If you tie it over a trench coat around the waist, beautiful. It retails for around $800. So we're within the $10,000 budget-ish. I might have to like ask someone for chump change, but you know, just like a little bit of change on the side to add to it for my birthday. I would ask a friend, I don't know, because I just love that kind of street style look. I think it's wonderful. I think it's really, really elevated and gorgeous. And I think between a flap and a kind of interesting shape of the saddle i want maybe a belt bag like i think they're very beautiful the next bag that kind of caught my eye is the palace bag by jimmy choo because it's shiny and it's sparkly and i'm thinking what if i need to wear something on a night out don't i need to sparkle but then i thought i could probably wear my saddle bag on a night out or i could wear nothing on a night out and just put things in my pockets right so I was torn between the belt bag and the saddle bag. Then I jumped over on Saint Laurent and I saw the Kaya small sachet bag. Have you seen this one? Guys, this bag is beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. I love a long strap. It's the bag that I wear most in my life. I'm about to have a kid. Like I want a bag that I can hang over. And as you know, I love my mini. So I kind of threw the belt bag out of the window as I did the sparkly bag because I love glitter. And I love a belt bag, but those are just like additions, you know? So I kind of thought the Kaya bag would do. It's a thousand dollars, would be a bit over, but you know what I mean? We can live with it. There's also the Lou mini bag, and that is also very, 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 very cute. And it's got a little tassel, but to be honest, I'd probably go for the Kaya or the Lou mini because it's just got that long strap. They're black, they've got that gold hardware that I love. Maybe I should go for silver just to differentiate. No, I'll go for gold. And I think they just look really, really elegant and beautiful, but I am really, really torn about the belt bag. Anyway, guys, I think those would be my three. I'm gonna settle on medium Chanel flap, saddlebag, and a YSL Kaya small satchel. And that would be my everyday casual, my kind of more sophisticated other day bag, into night bag, and then it would be the Dior mini bag. Let me know what you guys think of all those bags. Let me know what you would get. And let me know if you want me to do any other kind of like tags like this or like any question you can think of. Like I'd love to know like if you had to da 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 or if you could only blah buy blah blah blah. Like I'd love to know those questions. So let me know what they are and I will definitely do that video for you. Um, the video after this one, I hope, I don't know, will probably be me coming home with the baby and you finding out the name. I'm going to try and video in the hospital. I don't know because uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I've never had a kid before. But anyway, guys, I love you lots like jelly tots and I'll see you on the next one. Okay.